just when it comes to your expertise of cybersecurity, does artificial intelligence, particularly generative AI, what sort of risks does it induce? Well, thank you for having me. There are uh, a, a number of new risks that happen with generative AI. Um, but if we if we step back a little bit, what we've seen over the last uh, you know several years is the number of cyber attacks on companies and applications have increased dramatically to the point where cyber attacks are costing you know roughly six trillion dollars a year around the globe. Part of the reason for that is that as we move from the early stages of web experience to more digital, you know, advanced digital and dynamic experiences that we're all enjoying today, security in all of that movement was an afterthought. And so the attack surface for attackers increased and they were able to increasingly attack applications and monetize those attacks. Well, now we are at another inflection point where you know, generative AI is going to be an accelerator for humans, both for bad humans and for good humans. And we really have to make sure that security is not an afterthought and that organizations prepare themselves upfront for the new risks that come with that acceleration. Those mm. new risks uh, include, of course, you know, attackers being able to impersonate chatbots uh, to take your personal information yeah. or you know, being able to write uh, scripts much faster that attack vulnerabilities in, in existing applications. Yeah. And today, most organizations are not prepared for that. OK, so let's talk about preparedness. We can all update our the way in which we train ourselves to avoid phishing emails. We can all understand that perhaps the spelling mistakes aren't going to be there anymore. But Francois, what are you now training companies to look out for? We're training, so first of all, we're, we're asking companies to take the threat seriously. What, what I think we've seen in the past is that oftentimes we, we underestimate the sophistication of attackers. And because of that, you know, we use haphazard tools or try to just put a team of engineers in a room to try and deal with the, the attackers. But they are now organized. They have access to a lot of tools. And this generative AI is going to make very sophisticated and fine-tuned uh, attacks available to, frankly, the least sophisticated attackers. So we're asking companies to get prepared to enhance their, their uh, monitoring of their applications and the scanning of their codes and vulnerabilities. Uh, we're asking companies to train their users constantly. You just mentioned right. phishing emails. Phishing emails are, getting, are going to get way more uh, sophisticated and harder to detect, and it requires training of users on a very regular basis. Francois, a month ago, when you reported earnings, you talked about your customers slowing down in terms of renewals. There was a little bit of worry about the outlook. You think about the hype cycle around AI. Has your situation changed in the last four weeks? In other words, are your customers actually becoming more alive to these AI-related risks and therefore engaging with you about doing more work with your platforms? In the area of security, Ed, we're, we're, we're seeing our customers are engaging with us on that. I mean, just to give you a sense, Ed, around it, you know, today we, um, we protect over 2 billion fraudulent logins into applications every single day. And we protect over four and a half billion transactions, web transactions every single day with our large enterprise customers. And the way we do that is by leveraging AI to stop sophisticated and automated attacks. And we're seeing our customers, of course, have a, a, a strong interest in these solutions. Uh, and over the last four weeks, we have continued to see that, uh, that happen. Frenzo, we just have 30 seconds, but what is your technological assessment of what the likes of OpenAI are doing? Do you see them as a long-term threat to your business? No, actually, I, I think OpenAI is going to be an enabler for, for my business and other businesses because there's a lot of fantastic things it, it, it can do and uh, allow us to you know, move our people to uh, uh, other other tasks that are perhaps are, are repetitive today. So right. I see it primarily as an enabler of our business, but I also see it as a threat to all companies around the world around securing their digital experiences. And that's why we're gonna continue to invest in AI uh, right. to, to help our customers.